the fact that there are all these people out here on the streets in downtown Kaduna uh, crawling around. And they said, well, these are polio survivors, people that had polio as a child and they just lived their whole lives on the street. Huge calluses on their knees, their feet, their elbows, begging, you know, just to, just to get by real quickly. And then as we went into neighborhoods, administering the vaccine, putting the drops of the vaccine in the mouths of these children, ages two and under, the mothers would bring them in and we could see the peace on the faces of these mothers in knowing that their children would not have to worry about possibly dying or uh, getting polio over living their lives on the streets like so many others have there that have polio. Uh, I saw smiles on the faces of some of these school-age children there who were presented some hand paddled wheelchairs that were produced in a sort of primitive factory there in Kaduna that was being funded in part by the Rotary Foundation. I saw people drawing water from a well there in this community that uh, some clean water from a well that had been put in by a Rotary Club with support uh, from the Rotary Foundation. I saw restroom facilities being, being constructed by some Rotary Clubs there at a 600 pupil school where for at no restrooms at all. So if you can imagine 600 pupils and no restrooms, you can imagine the conditions there. That's sort of typical in that community, but restrooms being built with partial funding from the Rotary Foundation. Health, sanitation projects there. Because of what we're doing, 350,000 children are not going to get polio this year. Uh, gave me a real sense of peace. Being able to sleep at night, knowing that the things that I think, say, and do are meeting that four-week test. I think it's so critical. Eric mentioned my uh, introduction that I've served over, over 20 years, I guess, on the State Ethics Commission, mm -hmm. and I uh, see a lot of things, people do a lot of things, you know, and good people, and you think, you know, well, if people had this four-week test up here on, on their walls and thought about this all the time, a lot of these things folks get in trouble with probably could be avoided, but I decided to make, uh, create a new award this year in our district, on the District four-week test award to recognize uh, Rotarian in our district whose life and work exemplify the four-way testing practice. And I've asked each of our clubs in the district to nominate the boards to nominate someone for this award. And I'll have a uh, collect all 79 and we'll have a committee that will uh, select from that someone to receive this award to be presented in our district conference. But I have been, I do want to recognize, I have been recognizing the nominees from each club with a special four-way test pin, and uh, I want to recognize the person that's been recommended by your board, and obviously this person was not present when the board met to discuss this. I think they met in private uh, with a great role model for others in this community, a great family person who goes way far beyond the minimum that's required of anything that uh, he does, and whose life and work definitely exemplify the four-way test practice. So I want to present this pen in recognition of your nomination for this award to none other than Eric Gray. Okay. Eric? All right. Seven years in Rotary, I realized that I could not in any way experience halfway, you know, some meaning full of purpose in my life, some meaning and purpose had it not been for my participation in Rotary, membership in Rotary these years. And that would not have been possible had it not been for Lieutenant General retired George Forsyth. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't thank General Forsyth for coming to me that Monday in January 1975 and said, I want you to come join me at Rotary this Wednesday and consider joining our club. And I'm going to be saying the same thing to your sponsor, about your sponsor, about your, how much you appreciate being invited to join. So I think back how fitting this Rotary International theme is for me this year, peace through service. Those three words reflect exactly my experience in Rotary. Wesley, and it goes like this. 
Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can.